Hi, man, Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. I'm having trouble with this stopwatch, so it appears to be not starting and I'm not stopping. So I'm curious. I want to fix it. I know we have these on our watches these days. I say watches. Durr. And phones. We definitely have them on our mobile phones. Um, but there's still something useful about the tactile feel of a real stopwatch. So. I feel it's worth fixing. And where the bloody hell's my screwdriver? Okay, sorry, getting, getting angry there. It is a mess here in the back office. I have been making retro nets and Odroid hats and clearing out the decks before Christmas. And that's no mean feat, I have to say. It's giving me a lot of respect to industrial design now. I've designed things for manufacturer before, but damn it, when you make stuff yourself, you really want to start focusing on that. Normally you focus it on a cost uh, aspect because everything's machine made, but if something's handmade, damn, shoo, you really don't want to add anything that you got to do by hand. And now, okay, so we've got a spring just firing out. Now I was just sort of thinking about this, and I was trying to think, why would one feature of this seemed to suddenly stop working. And my uh, answer, I was thinking, would be one of two things. Either the buzzer, the stopwatch button, is jammed shut, so it's not detecting an open, or it's not detecting it closed. Or possibly, maybe the battery could be a bit dead. And then that's kind of affecting the circuit in some weird way. As you can imagine, there's some coil that's not getting coilified. So let's check for continuity. So that's the regular side. And then as I push it shut, we should hear it make a noise. Yeah, I'm not sure it's not just me messing around there. Let me. Yeah, that's definitely doing it. Try the same here. Yeah, it's doing it, it's doing it. It does feel a bit cack, but let's just go for the old battery first and let's see what the size is. This is an LR44. If I get my pikey pack of batteries off the wall, if I can even reach it. So many. I don't know if you ever get these uh, where you are, these really cheap Poundland watch batteries. They just come in all sorts of sizes. Um, yeah, well, this will do. I think that's the equivalent. Um, and you basically try them out, and half the time they're bloody dead anyway. But this was sent to me. I think this this was definitely sent to me as a as to sort of replace some watch battery. I should just buzz these out out of curiosity too. I'm not really sure what the loading is on a, a watch battery. It's going to be like milliamps. Let's pop the meter on it. So. It, yeah, 1.5 volts. That's the old, that's the new battery saying 1.5. Good. That's kind of what we want. Uh, old battery. Trying to escape. It's so slippery. Slippery my fingers. 1.3. So, yeah, I guess that 0.2 volts is good enough for me. Just looking in my bin there down at a forlorn USB cable. <laughs> I'll show you what I did actually. I, um,. I was dicking around with something, as you do, on your USB cable, and I ended up stripping it. Look at that. Mm. I don't know, though. Maybe I might just keep that, because that end might be... Uh, yeah, let's just keep that. Keep that in my pile of crap. It might be slightly serviceable for something. So we're going to pop that back in. I kind of feel we're going to go for broke. I think if it's, it's either worked or it's not worked, so... We can just wrap this bad boy up, be done with it. If we can manage to get the old buttons. There's not really much though inside a stopwatch if you're really fascinated. No, Andrew, take a, the stopwatch PCB out. I can assure you there isn't anything in there you haven't already seen in a digital watch. What is slightly interesting are these spring-loaded buttons. Um, and how I managed not to interfere with the center one. You have these little tiny springs, by the way, if you're ever going inside any watch, you might just see them there if I tilt it. Two little springs. Always go to the buzzer. And if you lose them, you're pretty much done. You're never going to get a replacement of those. Crank that on. Good. Right, let's see. Hooray! It works now. So who'd have thunk it? When the batteries get low, the 
the button started to fail to work before the screen. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing the quality of videos you get now? None of that, uh, you know, retro 8-bit computer modding, RGB, chroma key composite. It's no, we're going to go inside a stopwatch. Woohoo. This is the quality video that keeps my channel growing. Ironically, though, this is the sort of video I'm, I'm, I'm sort of I'm, I'm being a little bit um, facetious, I suppose, um, because this is exactly the kind of video there that does super well on the channel. <laughs> so you get the uh, few hundred views on uh, you know messing around with the BBC Micro, but then you'll get like one hundred thousand views on how to change your smartwatch battery or something. Right, good stopwatch it works now don't aren't you glad you just spent the last like five minutes or whatever of your life watching me do this of course you are thanks for watching